guys, I'm Lady Yoga, and this is Yoga Quickies, the show where you tell us what you want out of your yoga or fitness routine, and we deliver it to you in five minutes or less. I am here in Pittsburgh the bird. with <laughs> Dominique from Yoga Flow. Dominique, it's so like so amazing to have you here. I'm so Thank glad you. to be in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is an amazing city. It's I've never amazing. been here before. Yeah. And so you're from here. Yes, I've grown up here. So. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And it's you don't really have an accent. Um, I try very hard not to. I okay. eat a fucking. Can you give like, can, you give, can you give us a little bit of an accent? Um, yins, we're called yinzers, so okay. it's like um, yeah, instead yeah. of saying in that and that, we okay. say in at, in at, and in we at. just yeah, we blend all of our words. Can you do together. that in our sequence? Yeah, in at. We'll we'll do it in that. We'll okay. Stuff. Oh yeah. My God, that's awesome. <laughs> okay. Well, the point of this show is you guys out there tell us what you want to learn. So you use social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and you say, hey, this is what we want to learn. And Dominique is amazing. We have this uh, woman that was out there that was dealing with heartbreak, and she is an amazing yoga practitioner, and she said every time I go to the mat, she keeps bringing her relationship. So she wants to do something that's going to kind of heal her heart. And Dominique is wonderful at doing heart openers and things that really release that emotional stress. Right? And we're gonna do that and put five minutes on the clock and, and teach you how to kind of release your, your heart and let go of some of those wounded feelings and all that good stuff. Oh, so. definitely. But before we start, can you tell us a little bit about sort of the yoga scene in Pittsburgh? We've never done a yoga quickies here. This is, you're popping our Pittsburgh chair. I know, I'm doing it, it's all about me. Um, just so you know, a couple years ago, there were only like 20 yoga studios in Pittsburgh. And then now there's like over a hundred and some. It, it like exploded. Uh, from what somebody told me, we have more yoga studios in Pittsburgh than New York City. So it's gone crazy. That's, that's like cockroaches in New York City. Uh, like we're, exactly. we're, we're just producing. Switching it. We're switching that's it. The other way that's awesome. Yeah, and so it's exploded. Um, you know, I it's just word. yeah. I, I'm so blessed to have like 42 teachers between five studios, and that I feel like I have the best uh, around because they just give their heart and soul. So yeah. I mean, it's just wonderful. Well, I'm looking forward to taking a class here. The space is really incredible. Whenever you're in Pittsburgh, I would definitely check out the space. The teachers are amazing, and Dominique is incredible. So we're going to put five minutes on the clock, okay. and we're going to do our heart openers. So okay. let's get ready. You were All just right. Tell me what to do. All right. Ready normally, normally I am a bit more of a slower teacher. I like to explain alignment. So we have five minutes, so i got to get the party started. But just know that you can slow this down at any time. You can stop and hold these postures at any time. But I'm just going to kind of... Keep moving. So Roll let's through, just girl. start in mountain pose, Tadasana. Two big toes touch, separate your heels. Engage the whole front of the body. Tilt the pelvis forward, roll the shoulders up and back. Palms face in front of you, right like this. Eyes just float to a drishti and we're opening our hands. And for a moment, if you would like to get settled, you would just breathe here and focus on something to calm the nerves. But like I said, we're going to get started. So let's just take our feet hip width apart. We're gonna do um, a little bit of a flavored sun salutation differently than what you normally do. So circle your arms up with a breath in. Take a nice big inhale. Take your left hand, swan dive, grabbing the right ankle and twisting, binding that right arm behind your back. So the oh, right arm binds just like this, wrapping it around. Now circle back up with a deep breath in, huge circle. Exaggerate your movements. Exhale the other ankle, binding with this back arm, and just twist the heart chakra. Now if you can't, if you're not as open as Dominique and can reach the thigh, can you just take the, the hand to the hip? All right, or the, to, that's even yeah. sassier than it's your Pittsburgh. Just shake it. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? And then inhale, circle back up, grow nice and tall. Swan dive right in between your legs, palms flat, head drops. Pressing off your shins, getting a long spine with an inhale. Take your left leg back to a lunge, stepping a little to the left so you have stability. Put a little slight bend in that back knee. Inhale, circle your arms up. And exhale, circle them behind the back. And you can either grab a towel or interlace. Press your elbows straight and lift the heart with the breath in. Let your head fall back with the breath out. Good, come back to center. Circle your arms to the sky with an inhale. Both arms in between um, to the inside of the right foot. Palms flat. Turn the right foot open and let the knee fall. Take the right hand to the sky with a deep breath in, then let it fall open, breath out, like you're gonna touch the wall on the side of you. I'm already having uh, an orgasm. Oh, uh, <laughs> so good. Inhale this arm up. Exhale, high to low push up onto your belly today, nice and slow. We're gonna only push our right arm straight and look behind us on our right shoulder. So inhale, twist to the right, squeeze your bum and knees. Exhale, lower back down. 
left arm, press it straight, inhale, look behind you, and breath out, lower down. Now we're gonna go right into an upward facing dog. So inhale, lift up, crack the heart, and exhale, hips to the sky. We're gonna lunge our left foot where our left hand is. So inhale, rise high, bend deep, look at that left hand, and exhale, lunge, stepping a little to the left. Circle up with a deep breath in, very important to breathe in these. And circle behind, interlace, breath out. Good, press your arms straight, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, let the head and heart fall open. Back to center, circle the arms with an inhale. Both hands to the inside of the left foot, turning that foot out to lizard and let the knee fall. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. And exhale, just let it fall open. Hand you drop your knee down to the yes. foot if it's too much. Always right? modify, always modify your rest when you need to. Oh, it's so good. It feels good. Inhale this arm up. And exhale, chaturanga onto the belly. Nice and slow, all the way down. Press your right arm straight, breath in, look behind. And breath out, lower that heart chakra down. Inhale, open in the femi feminine side. And breath out, lower it down. Upward facing dog, lifting everything up. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let the head relax. Let's take it forward, inhale, rise high. Bend deep, look forward, exhale, take it to the front. Good, circle up, step your feet apart, breath in. She's a much, much nicer jump than I did. Ah, no, <laughs> take the right hand, left ankle, exhale, either half bind or bind it full. Circle up, breath in, all the way up. Left hand to the right ankle, grab, well, good. Circle it up with an inhale, and swan dive, exhale. Press off your shins with a breath in, left leg back into the left. Good. Circle up to crescent with an inhale. And hands behind the back. Exhale. Interlace and lift. Breath in. Let the heart fall open. Breath out. Circle up with an inhale. Hands to the inside. Exhale. Turn that right foot open. Right hand inhales up and falls with that exhale. Hand to the sky again. Breath in. Okay, That's right. <laughs> exhale. Chaturanga to the belly. Inhale, right, press and look. Exhale, lower. Left, inhale, look. And exhale. That's good. Lift the heart, breath in. Thanks, timer. And <laughs> hips to sky. Good. <laughs> and just relax. Let's just do our left side to equal out. Okay. Let's lunge our left foot. So inhale, rise high. Bend deep, look forward, left foot lunges. I'll just keep moving. Forget no, her. Just keep going. Forget her. Inhale up. And circle behind, interlace. Press and lift, breath in, fall open, breath out. Circle up with an inhale, both hands to the inside. Breath out, turn the foot and knee open. Circle, breath in, and fall up, breath out. Inhale up, and one more vinyasa of your choice. Either can do the lift, the twist, or just straight into an up dog, whatever you choose. And downward facing dog, right like this, and then we stop. I know, and see, I love this because we did that sequence twice, and it's a very creative sequence, but you can even just do it once the beginning of the day, once before you go to your yoga practice. Oh, yeah, definitely. And we've got another little floor thing that I love. Can we do yeah, this is awesome. This is so really So this good. is a bonus quickie round. Right here. So Dominique is going to show us some stuff to do on the floor. And I'm sorry, but like, I'm in my 40s, but I already <laughs> feel the relationships from my 20s. And she, she looks 50. Away. She looks 50. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So Shorty yeah. and Dominique are going to do some stuff here, on the Shorty. floor. Here, Shorty. For your extra bonus quickie. All right, there's two things I want to show you that are super cool. Now, you have to be pretty warm to do this and you have to be very cautious. If it feels weird at all, don't do it. So what we'll do is we'll lower to our belly. Move it, Shorty. Shorty, scramble. <laughs> okay, take your block into your head and put your ear in it like a little Fred Flintstone pillow, just like this. Oh. Arms out to a T, scratch a puppy's belly. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your left hand, slide it up like a chaturanga, like a high to low push up arm, wrapping it in. Perfect T arm, start to roll onto your right hip. Bend your knees up to your stomach and scoot your bum a little more towards the left so you're more centered. You can stay here or you can bring the hand to the sky, but when you do, you turn your palm backwards for leverage, just for gravity to help fall open. If this is fine, you stay here. If you want a little more sensation, you can bring one foot up like you'd be preparing for a bridge or both feet. And eventually, once you're warm, you can interlace your fingers or grab a dog foot like I'm doing right now. And I love um, this too because 
even even not just even for like heart opening but this is great if you've got a desk job if yeah you're this is for long yeah. I mean, this is so wonderful to just open up to the front of the chest it's a very vulnerable place to be is open through here so yes very true so, and it, well, if you want a heart opener this it's is awesome. open there's no choice here so come back to center. We're gonna do the other side. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do the other? Why not? We're going okay. for it. So other arm out. Roll onto that hip. Scoot your bum over to the right. And come into either fetal or whichever you want. And then extend the right hand to the sky. I like the, the use of the block. Yeah, because that helps. I've messed up so many times teaching without the block that I've learned. I've learned oh. to use the block. Let go of the ego and grab the block. Or your friend. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, and then come back up. One more little thing you can do, and this could be after a long day, after a big glass of wine, whatever you want. This is a huge heart opener. So you would take your block, and you would put the bottom of the block at the bra line. So the bottom of the bra block's at the bra line, and the top of the block's higher up. And you would just relax, let the arms go open, and you just crash like this. If it's a little too much on the low back, you would just... Bend your knees, pigeon toe your feet, and let your knees buckle in. And if you don't wear a bra, if you yeah. happen to be a man, it's just where you, like, the hug area. Where yeah, you give yourself exactly. Let me give yourself a little up. Oh my God, so. Dominique, this is so amazing. I don't think I can get up. I know, let's just stay here. <laughs> so we're hanging out here at Yoga Flow in Pittsburgh. This is my friend, Dominic. Ponka? Ponka. Ponka. She's Whatever, so amazing matter. and incredible. <laughs> and if you're... Dealing with a, a wounded heart or just want to open up through the front of the body, this is an amazing flow. And yeah. so yoga quick aids can be two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. You can take this routine and do it five times in a day. And it's amazing. It's so amazing. thank you so much, Dominic, Absolutely. for joining me. She's yeah. got some amazing retreats and teacher trainings coming up, and you don't have to be in the Pittsburgh area to join. So all of her information and the information on her studio is below. So please check out her stuff below. Check out all the information and the episodes and yoga quickies. I think she might be doing another one with us. And uh, yeah, let us know what you need to do, what you want to learn, and subscribe below. Awesome. Thank you so much. And come join us in Tulum. Yeah. Come join us in April in Tulum. Thank Namaste. you. Namaste.